Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. December 8th is the feast, or rather the solemnity, of the Immaculate Conception. It's the patronal feast of the United States. Now, it's not about the conception of Jesus, but the conception of his mother Mary. This feast commemorates the amazing event, or perhaps we could say the advent of the Virgin Mary, who, as the church says, in the first moment of her conception, by your unique gift of grace and privilege of Almighty God, was preserved free from all stain of original sin. Now this solemnity points back in some way to the long waiting the prophecies about our Savior's coming in the Old Testament. There are various passages that prepare or foreshadow Mary's conception. I like that one passage of David, the king in Psalms, sanctificavit tabernaculum sum altissimus. That even sounds cool. The Most High has sanctified his tabernacle. So it's appropriate during this Advent season, special honor be paid to this pure and sinless conception of the mother of God in order that the faithful be inspired to prepare themselves for a more perfect state in order to meet our Lord when he comes into the world on December 25th. Now, while several, several Christians, we all know have difficulties with Marian teachings and devotion, but it's also the case that many Catholic men struggle with them as well. Some things they hear about her are just hard to connect with. Often men do not understand her role and position. They do not relate with her womanhood or his mother or any mysteries which speak about her. The Immaculate Conception is definitely one of them. But brothers, thinking about this, I just want to say that of ourselves, none of us are fitting to meet God. And ultimately, it's God's work in us that makes us in any way fitting to meet with Jesus and have union and communion with him. Now, so it seems right that Mary, the Blessed Mother, be made even more fitting as her womb was the tabernacle within which he was conceived, and she had the privilege of mothering our Lord unto adulthood. How appropriate that God would render her as pure and innocent as possible. Brothers, God be with you.